Hey there! Today we're going to install and set up VoiceMeter Banana and utilize it for OBS streaming. This is useful because it'll allow you to isolate your audio for various situations. The most important use would be to have the volume you hear on your end be different from what the stream hears and give you finer control over audio. First thing we're going to do is download and install VoiceMeter Banana and the virtual audio cable offered on the VoiceMeter site. Notice the spelling on VoiceMeter when searching for the programs. Also, be sure you are downloading and installing Voice Inner Banana and not the regular version. This will give us more options to use. Afterwards, once you have these installed, open up Voice Meter Banana. You can then pen the program on your taskbar for easy access later. The first thing we want to do is open up the menu for the program with this menu button at the top right. With this drop down menu, we want to enable the program to open on System Startup. There are other options near this that you can select if you desire. Now what we want to do is select the audio device that we listen with. Left click A1 at the top and select the headphones you primarily listen with. Use the prefix WMD when available. If you have other devices, you can click either A2 or A3 and then select the device you want for these. For example, A2 you can select your earbuds and for A3, you can select any external speakers you have. We will handle the piping of audio later for these devices. Next, we're really going to get into the meat of this. We're going to start with setting up our microphone. What we're going to do is designate this far left slider for our microphone. At the top, we want to left click Select Audio Device and select the microphone that we use. Again, use the WMD prefix if available. Next, we're going to deselect all the buttons so they're all grayed out and then left click B2 so it is highlighted green. We will explain what this does later. The next thing we want to do is designate all our audio lanes to keep track of what is being pointed to. This is for our use only. We can rename each lane by right clicking the name and then typing what we want it to be. Let's keep these names simple and name the lanes Mike, Comms, we'll skip the third lane default, and then finally game. After this, we're going to make our life easier later by designating the names of the Windows sounds. You can either right-click the sound icon in your taskbar and follow the steps in the video, or you can open your start menu and type sound and open the sound control panel window. Once this is open, scroll down to the three voice meter lines we've installed. Right-click voice meter input and set as default device. After, right click this again and click properties. Within this window is a text box. Inside this text box we want to insert uh, default before the name. We then want to do this for the next two audio lines. Cable input will be designated comms, so we insert comms before the name, and voice meter aux input will be designated game, so we'll insert game before the name. Then we'll do the same for the recording devices. At the top of the sound window, click the recording tab and scroll down to the voice meter lines. Ensure voice meter aux input is set to default device by right clicking. Afterwards, open the properties as before and insert mic before this name. Then we're going to do the same with comms and the cable output name as we did before. This whole process makes keeping track of everything easier in the future, especially for a later step when we designate audio lines for things like Discord and end game sound op outputs. Now that we've set things up to make things a lot easier, we just need to designate the comms in Voice Meter Banana. Like we did for the mic lane, we left click the select audio device and select a WMD prefixed comms audio line. This should be the comms cable output. The last thing we want to do before moving on to OBS is make sure that the comms, default, and game sounds all have A1 highlighted in green while the others are grayed out. This will ensure that all the audio lines are sent to your headphones. If you want to send these lines to another device like earbuds at the same time as your headphones, you'd simply select A2 or A3 in addition to A1 depending how you set up your devices earlier. Now on to OBS. Open your OBS settings and go to the Output tab. Ensure that the Audio Track 1 radio box is selected, and then open the Audio Settings. In this, we want to emulate what is on the screen. 
Desktop audio device is set to default. Desktop audio device 2 is set to game. Mic device is set to mic. And the mic aux device 2 is set to comms. Finally, we want to exit the settings and go to the main OBS window and right click any audio channel and then go to the advanced audio properties to ensure the audio channels all have channel 1 highlighted. This will ensure that audio is piped to the stream correctly. If you want to record, you can select an unique audio channel for each audio line as well. This won't affect the stream. Next, we want to right click each audio line in OBS and rename the lines to correspond with each channel it handles. This may take some trial and error to ensure everything is labeled correctly, but it will help in the long run. The next step is to set up special cases like comms. Open Discord and then go to the Discord settings and then find voice and video settings. Under output device, select the comms audio line and the mic audio line for the input device. For games that support it, you could also do something similar. For example, in WoW, you can go to the audio settings and choose the game audio line for the game sounds output. Here we can see the game line changing due to the game sounds and this is independent of our default line. The default line will capture anything not assigned to a specific lane. This will include things like browsers or games that do not allow you to select a specific audio output. For example, if we close our game, we will see the game line goes quiet while the default line continues to display audio that is captured from Twitch. The last thing we need to go over is specific audio. The first thing you want to do before fine tuning your OBS sound settings is to tweak your master audio settings in voice meter banana. To do this, it will take some trial and error to find the perfect balance that's preferable to you. This will mean messing with the large sliders on the left portion of the program. Once you've found your balance, you don't want to mess with this in the future because it'll mean balancing OBS later. If you want to reduce the volume of what you hear on your end, you'll want to tweak the corresponding audio line for your output. This is on the right hand portion of the program. This means A1, A2, or A3 on the right. However, if you want to tweak with what the stream hears, you mess with the sliders within OBS itself. For example, if someone says the music is too loud, you will change the default or desktop line within OBS and don't touch voice meter. This is very important. You need to ensure that you understand this concept before going live or you're going to give yourself a headache. This applies to other things within OBS as well. If people say they can't hear comms, you could turn up the comms line within OBS. This also means that you can mute comms within the OBS window and the stream will not be able to hear Discord, but you still can. This is a powerful tool that you can use. If you don't want to listen to music, but still allow the stream to hear, within voice meter under the default lane, you can deselect A1 so this line does not get mixed to your headphones. If you want to play a song over Discord, you can check B2 under the default, and anything that the default line is picking up will get piped to your output, which will be Discord. If you do these things, make sure to uncheck after you finished to retain functionality for the next time. This concludes this little walkthrough of setting up voice meter and OBS. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as I can. I hope this helps you, and good luck.